Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Hugging Face's new Auto Train Advanced to fine tune any LLM like Llama 7B, Vicuna and you can also fine tune 13B models using Auto Train Advanced. You can also fine tune models like Pythia and GPT Neo. To use Auto Train Advanced you have to log into your Hugging Face account and create an Auto Train space. So to click on, uh, to create a auto train space, you can just click on your user image and then new space and you will be presented with this screen. Now in this screen, I can uh, write like LLM auto train. I mean, you create the space once and you can use it for many different purposes. So I'll just maybe write auto train v one And then you select the Docker template and the auto train flavor. Once you have done that, you mark the space as private because it uses your Hugging Face token and you don't want others to train using your Hugging Face token. And then you create the space. And now it's going to create the space and this process can take few seconds to a couple of minutes. So once the space has been created, you will be presented with the screen and it says that you have to log in with a token. But you can also use environment variable called hf underscore token to avoid having enter your token every time. Like if you're creating this space for an organization and you want everyone to be uh, to have access to that, you should probably not use personal token. But um, like if if you are using your own auto train space, you can use your token as uh, hf token as a secret or environment variable. So what we are going to do is I'm going to click here, click on the token, copy the token, paste it here and press enter. So now I have pressed enter and it presents me with, okay, who is training? It's me who is training. I can all, I'm also part of many different organizations. So I can also choose an organization to train um, and my project name. So let's keep this project name. And uh, you see like we have many different kinds of tasks. So I'll select natural language processing inside this LLM fine tuning. Now I have selected LLM fine tuning and I have two different training types. One is generic, one is chat. So for chat, it expects you to have um, three different inputs. For generic, only one input is required. So I'm just going to grab the data set, which is the alpaca data set and drag and drop here so now it takes a while you can also upload a validation set if you want to and that's completely optional otherwise the validation set will be created from your training set and since all the data processing happens inside the space everything is super fast so now i click on uh, chat and here i can see i have uh, two columns prompt and response but I also have another column called context. So I'll just add like my instruction is my prompt, my input is my context, uh, my response, sorry, my response is output and context is input. But this data set also consists of a one more column called text column, which has everything combined. So I can just go to the generic mode and just select the text column if I want to do that. Now, the base model here is Pythia 7TM, but we are making the video for Llama 7B. So I'll, I, I have found this model on Hugging Face Hub, which is compatible with Hugging Face Transformers. So let's select that. And um, we go back and go here, copy here. Okay, so, um, now we also have the option to choose our own parameters, like the manual training, and we can add uh, different jobs for manual training, or we can just select auto train, number of models, let's make it two. And uh, now we can just click on create project. So you have to make sure um, like you read the estimated cost. And once you create the project, it will incur charges. So I create the project and now it's munging the data and it's doing something. Uh, 
approving the project for training and it might take a while like from few seconds to few minutes depending on the size of the data set and now the project has been created and it gives me a link to the dashboard and in the dashboard I will now be able to see my trainings have already started awesome so this training is going to take a while but you can see like I have um, I already have like uh, trained another model uh, using the same process so I go here and um, this is the model that just trained using auto train and uh, this model is already ready to be deployed using inference endpoints so I just click if I just click on this I will be able to deploy it uh, in one single click or I can go to the files and see there is a file called handler.py and which consists of how the model should work so you can just copy paste this code and use this model wherever you want to use all the models provided by autotrain are private so and all the models are provided to you so you are free to do whatever you want to do with them and that's it for today thank you very much i hope you like the video do subscribe do like the video do share it with your friends bye